In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Gmail account for your child. Then I'll show you how to manage it with Google Families. So you want to go to Google and just do a simple Google search for create Gmail account. And that will take you to this window. We're then going to click on create a Gmail account. And then we want to click create an account. Now we need to get to the Google sign in or create account window. So click on create account. And it's then going to ask us if we want to create for personal use for a child or for work or business. Obviously, we're going to click for my child. Then we can go through this process. So it's going to ask you, do you want to manage your child's account and privacy settings? I'd recommend you do. It takes a couple of minutes to set up, but you can manage and restrict a lot of things. So go ahead and click yes, continue and enter in your child's first and last name. So here is my imaginary son, John Smith. So go ahead and enter that in, click next, and then enter in their birthday. Now it's important to note, you can only create a Gmail account for people under 13. So go ahead and enter in those details, and then you can create a username for your child. Now your username is what they're going to use to log into their Gmail account. So because John Smith is a very common name, I've just gone with John Smith example YT, which I don't think will be taken. So we'll go ahead and click next, then enter in a password for your child. It's probably best to ask them what password they want, and then go ahead and enter in your phone number and then click next. So after you've entered in a phone number, go ahead and enter in your own email or phone number that you use to manage your child's account. I'll just use this one as an example and we'll go ahead and click next. Now it's gonna ask you to log in, I do believe. You can read a bit about what you can do with family links. So you can manage your child's account. You can like see what they're doing, see what their download history is, their purchase history. You can also restrict different content and types of content. You can do quite a lot in it, to be honest. Nonetheless, go ahead and agree to these terms and conditions and then click I agree. And then you want to log into your account that you're going to manage their account with. And then again, it will give you a brief overview. Your child's Google account will be similar to your own. He will have his own access to Google's products and services, and you can basically use it as normal. You just can manage it until he reaches 13. So go ahead and click next once you understand all of that. And if you want to specifically personalize what they can and can't access, you can click on manual personalization. But for the most part, I'm going to click on express personalization. And I'm assuming most of you are going to do that as well, because it's going to be a quick setup. And it's going to explain what tracking is going to be on and what you're going to be able to see regarding history. It's a lot of agreeing to terms and conditions. But once you've done that, the account will be created. Click continue. And there you go. We're now logging in to the child's account. We're going to continue with smart features and agree to this. And there we go. We're inside of your child's email. You can see it's a standard email and you just simply now manage it. Now, if you wanted to check what your child is doing online, as well as lock their devices and make more restrictions, you want to go to familylink.google.com and you need to sign into your Google account that manages your child. Here you can go ahead and check out their highlights, control, you can lock their device remotely, you can access content restrictions and only allow them to watch certain things. So if we want them to use the standard YouTube, we can limit the videos to 13 plus, 9 plus or so on. So that's how you can do it. I hope that quick video was helpful and did help you out.